Greetings, this is Indian in the Machine. And I wanted to speak on more about how the simulation is ending for people. Okay, there's a... Basically, there's two paths. One is the path of light, one is the path of dark. Okay, so... Now, the simulation... It's hard for people to really comprehend that, but... We are living in a simulation because the spiritual creates the physical, not the other way around. Okay? So, meaning, non-physicality creates physicality. Okay? So, this is like, you know, a really good metaphor for this is those headsets for virtual reality. Okay, so you and I, we're in the simulation right now. We actually have on headsets. Like our soul is actually wearing a headset. And actually, it's more like a fragment of our souls. Or, or like even better, a fractal of our souls is wearing a headset. Okay? So now... A lot of people don't want to take off their headsets. That's pretty much it. Okay? So, it's, you understand that's crazy, right? Like, if you, if you were having such an enthralling time in, your, in a virtual reality simulation that you don't want to take off the headset and you want to wear it, like, you don't want to take it off, you just want to keep wearing it. Okay, so if that's the case, you don't actually get to experience what's outside the headset. Okay, because you're not taking it off. Okay, and outside the headset is actually like closer to reality. Inside the headset, it's an illusion. Okay, so people don't want to let go of the illusion. They don't want to let go of the headset. They're happier, or so they think, they're preferring to keep the headset on, and they're rejecting, essentially, what's outside the headset, what's outside the simulation. Okay, so this is tricky now for people, right? Because we're trying to get used to being humans. Okay, people generally... You know, they generally want to do the right thing. However, there are major obstacles to that. Right? The obstacles are that, you know, people basically want to live, but they're attracting death on so many levels. Okay, there are physical attachments now. Now we're going to talk specifically about why people won't take off their headsets. Okay, why they don't want the simulation to end. And even though outside the simulation, the building is being dismantled all around them. And it's all under a great renovation. But they just prefer to not want to deal with that because they want their simulation to keep going okay so physical attachments big one this includes diet okay this includes like people places like things there's lots of ways people get attached to the physical and even more so it's practically guaranteed if you haven't been curious about the spiritual right Okay, so this is important because you have to be willing... This is the headset, okay? The physicality is the headset. And if you are so attached to your headset, you don't get to experience what's beyond it. So that's the real price, folks. So you don't want to give up your favorite burgers. You don't want to give up your this or your that. Your favorite drinks, your whatever is stimulating you okay 
convenient foods, um, control over others even. It goes on and on and on. You know, people are still carrying around blankets from their childhood. Okay, like, this isn't letting go of the simulation, right? You, un you understand that. Okay, so this is number one. Number two is basically lingering old habits. Okay? We want to get to know ourselves better. Yes, but we don't want to get to know our like our personality better, right? Because that's just one aspect of a greater totality. Okay, so these physical attachments, they keep us away from the bigger aspects of ourselves and the universe. Okay, they keep us limited into a sliver of existence. So lingering old habits could be like just things you do because you always did them. You always woke up at the right, at this side of the bed, at this specific time, and did the exact same things pretty much throughout your day with slight variation. And then you observed your actions and decisions, and you said, this is me. You're, based on circumstance, you're trying to get to know yourself better. Okay? However, it doesn't matter what your circumstances are if you want to get to know yourself better. It's more to the point to get to know your inside better, not your circumstances. Okay? So, people are attached to the physical. We're attached to watching things on, a on television, even, a, you know, on specific furniture, with specific people there watching the same thing at the same time, like for years. And then during the commercials, which have been the same for years, peddling the, the same products which are generally not healthy they retrieve foods that match the frequency of attachment okay our economy is based on getting people attached physically okay we don't have a spiritual economy and that's coming okay so those lingering old habits die hard quite often, but they don't have to, okay? Because if you want to take off your headset, then your old habits go, okay? It's not really you, it's just your avatar in the simulation, okay? Addictions, you know, so similar to old habits, but perhaps more deeply ingrained where literally physicality is controlling you. Okay, so that's how bad it gets when spirituality can't guide you. When you shut yourself off to what's going on outside the headset, then you are basically relying on circumstances to guide you here and there because you don't really know where here and there is actually going. You're just doing a best guess and a lot of times relying on hope or force in order to manipulate the simulation to your desired outcomes. Okay, And some people are really, really good at that and people are addicted, for example, to earning money. You know, addicted to seeing people as commodities of no value whatsoever unless there's monetary value. People are addicted to culture, which is basically a cult because it's not universal values. It's limited values where a, a whole bunch of people might think this, the same thing, but it's still not truth if it's a lie. Okay? So, lots of addictions in this type of environment inside 
the simulation. Okay? You have to remember the simulation doesn't want us to think about the spiritual world. Right? Because it it's like the simulation wants to value itself and it wants to demonstrate value to people by constantly beckoning us into habits, addictions, and attachments. Okay? And then we're surrounded with people who are doing this, our economy's doing it. It's not about singling out people around us specifically. It's overall in the simulation. This is how people are can generally behave when they're right into it. Right? They're so into the simulation that then they start demonstrating like a spiritual psychosis or something where they their whole lives are based on the simulation giving them their little bits of treat if they are more attached to it okay so now all this is happening you know in our daily our daily stuff that we are experiencing and then there's actually this whole time with every commercial with every movie with every illusionary conversation or decision etc now all this gets programmed into the subconscious okay so then it becomes even more like quicksand a lot more difficult to get away from it because it's essentially our daily moments are hardwired for deeply ingrained programming okay so we've been teaching the simulation within ourselves this is me i like chocolate I like to travel blah 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 it's all getting this is all data that got put into the program okay like I like nature I don't like certain people I've noticed my life gets better when I believe lies basically those ones get really wedged in there okay now related to all of this is frequency because this is basically the total of all the parts and and what we re- ultimately resonate with okay so essentially physical attachment is going to keep a, someone at a lower frequency i mean there're obviously lots of exceptions to everything right however like In general sense you know when you're attached to things you're it's like you know you're like a crystal that's being pressed against you know steel or maybe a better example would be like uh, plastic you know and a crystal normally would vibrate very very fast but if it's like compressing against physicality all around it you know under certain circumstances it's it's essentially going to cause a dampening of the vibration okay so now overall we can see that all of this physicality around us that's compressing against us it's hindering our ability to vibrate okay like it's just that's just it okay so we're trying to fit in now here's here's why it's such a mind twister because we're trying to fit in and get better in a physical environment when our doorway out of the simulation it's a spiritual doorway okay like the soul is not designed to live in a box obviously right it's obviously we see our sun shining 
There's not a box around it. So too it is with us, with our inner son. Okay, so that's essentially, that's, isn't that a great metaphor right there? So the simulation is like a son that wants to live in a box. And there's a whole bunch of other people going like, hey, this is a great idea. Look at how we are making out here. Like, we, we are succeeding here. You know? This is great, right? Well, okay, folks. That might feel good. It might, you know, give you a little jolt of, hey, this is wonderful to be alive, etc. But it's just simply circumstances in the simulation okay and it means you don't want to take your headset off okay so you might want to be you know like grabbing your headset and not letting anyone take it off and you're not taking it off yourself and inside the virtual reality you are having a great time that's fine, my friends. Of, of course, you know, like, you're probably going to need someone else to take care of you because you're not going to be able to live like that, like, without, you know, like, like you're going to be banging, you're walking around the room that you actually are in, you're going to be banging into everything. You're going to need help to go to the bathroom. You're going to need someone else to cook for you. Okay, you're going to need other creatures to sacrifice their lives for you. That's one of the aspects of wanting to stay in the simulation. This is essentially a regression, right? Because you're rejecting your own soul if you don't want to get outside the simulation. Okay, so... Folks, I hope this has reached some people out there. It's not about judgment, okay? Perhaps it's about observation, and perhaps it's about the judgment of circumstances, but I believe in the teachings of Sananda, and he speaks of not judging people, but you have to judge behaviors and actions, etc., Okay, circumstances, why not, right? But it's not about judging people. And the reason that we do that is because if you don't judge, then you can see outside the simulation. Okay, if you're judging someone, you basically got it wrong and you got them wrong because they are actually a soul outside the simulation. Okay, you think you get to know, you've gotten to know people better, but you've only gotten to know their limited avatars. Okay, they you only learn about people generally based on their habits and addictions and their behaviors that you can put into your computer system inside your head that spits out basically false conclusions. Okay, so in the simulation, we really don't know ourselves in totality. Neither does anyone else. Neither do we really know each other fully and completely. Okay, that's just the way it is. Okay, so, so now the simulation is coming to an end. And it, it's looking like it's sooner than, much sooner than later. Okay, our ascension now has gone into hyper overdrive. Obviously, in order to step outside the simulation, we need to overcome these physical attachments to diet, people, places, things fascination with death instead of life 
with destruction instead of creation. Lingering old habits, addictions, subconscious beliefs, and and lower frequencies that might feel stimulating, and they certainly are physically stimulating. However, that's just like somebody wearing a VR headset and eating candy all day. It's like there's so much more going on, and there's so much more to do, to learn about, to experience, to evolve into, etc. Okay, so I hope, and I would love if I was able to really connect with someone or people in this message and people could see that living with all of this physicality compressing against our souls is not the true way of living as an eternal soul who came here for ex- to wear the the virtual reality headset but then to take it off when the simulation's over. Okay, so now we're reaching the days where the simulation is soon to end and people want to wear their headsets right to the very last moment. Okay, so I get it why people would want to do that. You know, some people have had their whole lives not connecting with the spiritual realm and becoming very successful in the simulation. Okay? But I'm suggesting that, you know, like, it's like being in an arcade wearing a virtual reality headset and the arcade wants to close and go, you know, do something else and there's a child there a child that's very familiar a child that has been hurt and wounded a child that has learned to fear the world around it and that child prefers the simulation So I want you to think about how much you are that child. And I also want you to think about whether you want to take off the headset. Because the simulation is over whether you want it to be over or not. It doesn't continue because you don't want to take off the headset. The simulation is ending. I will leave it at that, and um, I've enjoyed sending this message out, this transmission, and I hope this helps people to take off the virtual reality headset of the simulation. Thank you, and blessings.